So I think it's pretty obvious that kick.com will actually kill Twitch, basically. Um, it'll kill Twitch just like how XDC will kill Ethereum because XDC is the real Ethereum killer. Uh, kick.com will do the same and to Twitch and kill it. Here are the reasons. So, as you may or may not know, kick.com is owned by Stake, which is one of the largest um, online gambling s- companies, sites out there. Uh, Stake.com, right. Uh, I think the last year or this year they made like three billion dollars in revenue, so a lot of money. As you as you also probably know, uh, XQC was able to sign a deal with Kick.com worth a hundred million dollars, a hundred million dollars over two years. So yeah, they got a lot of money to spend, and 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 the reason why. Um, Kick.com is going to kill Twitch is because of the rules, the relaxed rules. The rules are not as stringent. So as I've said that, as, as I've said, Kick.com is owned by Stake, which is a gambling site. And you all know that gambling is not allowed on Twitch, right? Like you guys know that, right? Gambling streams have been banned on Twitch and you know how Twitch is just really strict with a like not just not just with streaming gamble gambling, they're also strict with a lot of stuff, right? As well. And I feel like Kick.com is like, you know, the, the, the rules are just more relaxed. You can watch gambling streams, and ga- gambling streams were huge on Twitch back back then. When like it was like one of the most streamed content on Twitch, right? And um, and they banned it, I guess, because advertisers were not happy. Uh, the thing about Kick.com is they don't actually need to rely on advertisers, if you get what I mean. Um, because they're, ma- they're, they're owned by Stake.com. And, like, honestly, like, Kick.com can probably make money... Uh, with stake.com as its only sponsor if that makes sense so you can think of it you can think of kick.com as essentially this gigantic advertisement for their gambling company stake.com so they don't really need to rely on like any advertisers other than themselves if that makes sense so they're like sponsoring themselves do you understand what i'm saying so i think that's 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 why um you know that that's why kick.com has this advantage it's like they don't need to rely on sponsor uh, uh, like advertisers right uh, like sponsors and like they have their own company right stake.com which is a gambling company and it's like you know how gambling companies are they don't really have much morals i mean it's gambling you know what i'm saying it's gambling so like yeah i think this is this is just an advantage that they have is um they can just have more relaxed rules because they only depend on, you know, advertisers like McDonald's, you know, like just advertisers other than themselves, if that makes sense, right? They don't need to depend on that. They can just, they can just like I said, kick.com is, for them, I think it's just it pretty much just this big, gigantic advertisement for stake.com, which is, like I said, their own, their company, right? Their gambling company. So um, that's why I think... Um, you know, kick.com will end up killing Twitch because, uh, like I said, they, they, there's two reasons. Mainly, they're backed by, you know, essentially unlimited money from their company that makes $3 billion a year. Uh, and it's still, it's growing, you know. Maybe they might make $5 billion next year or something. And also, number two, because of this, because of not needing um, advertisers, other advertisers uh, to make money, because they they literally just make money on their own with their gambling company. They don't need to rely on uh, other advertisers, um, other sponsors. Um, because of this, uh, the the rules on Kick.com are just more relaxed, um, less stringent. You know, like you you could do more things on there that you probably get banned for on Twitch. So, for example, like streaming gambling, uh, st- gambling, right? Like, 
slots, for example, a casino and all that stuff. Um, you know, so yeah, like I said, yeah, those two re- main reasons are why 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 Twitch will end up dying. And and the thing is, a lot of content creators are already leaving Twitch, right? Like, I haven't been on Twitch in a long time, like I would say a year. And and like just yesterday, I I checked Twitch and I noticed a lot of creators that 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 were on t- Twitch before, they're on YouTube now, right? They're on YouTube. So like even without kick. Uh, entering the scene, it's like Twitch is already dying in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like Twitch is already kind of just already dying. You know, like like Twitch is like the brand. Obviously, the brand is huge. Right? Everybody knows Twitch at this point. Not many people know what Kick is, right? Kick.com. But many people, every like literally, you can like everybody that you know uses the internet, uh, um, you know, and and is a target audience of of Twitch. You know should know what twitch is you know it's huge but the thing is it's only as strong as its weakest link or 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 should i say it's it's only as strong as the content creators themselves you know like content creators make that make and break the site you know like yes the brand is just huge uh but what good is the huge brand awareness if the content creators that created this awareness left the company You, you, you know what i'm saying like the kind of creators that made Twitch famous left Twitch. It's like it doesn't matter if Twitch everybody knows Twitch if the brand awareness is huge. The kind of creators left Twitch and they went to YouTube and other sites. So um, I'm just saying, like I just don't feel like Twitch has a future because all these kind of creators are leaving. And so so uh, there's another streaming site that called mixer a while back. it closed like a, a few years ago i think basically like they splashed a lot of money i think it was owned by microsoft and they splashed about a bunch of money on ninja on um shroud to get them over and it, it didn't work they ended up dying so i think you know a few reasons obviously like like i said um they 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 still require uh, advertisements, if that makes sense, right? Because uh, they're run by Microsoft, right? They, they they still require like advertisers like Twitch, like uh, you know, like like Twitch needs 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 uh, advertisers as well. Um, and also, um, as a result, their rules are, I would say, you know, you can imagine, probably equ- equally as stringent as those of Twitch. So so there wasn't anything different in that in that scenario for Mixer. If that makes sense, like there was no like unique selling point. If that makes sense. Um, like there was nothing that was setting it unique from Twitch. It was literally like literally like the same thing. What sets Kick.com from Twitch is like I said, primary primarily the less stringent rules, um, which result uh, resulting from not needing you know advertisers uh, to you know to run the to run the company. Uh, to run to run kick.com because their parent company stake.com the gambling company essentially just funds it already right that makes sense and you know like i said um as a result kick.com is essentially just a big a huge advertisement they have big advertising for kick uh, for stake.com you know their gam- the their parent gambling company so yeah so that's pretty much it that's all i have to say uh just like uh you know, non-scripted rambling about, you know, about why kick.com will actually end up killing Twitch, I believe. Um, I don't think YouTube, you know, the YouTube streaming will, will kill Twitch, even though a lot of content creators went to YouTube. I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's enough because like I said, YouTube also, you know, relies on, um, relies on, uh, advertisers as well. So, uh, so you know they probably have to follow similar stringent rules as Twitch. Although I don't, from my experience, seeing YouTube how they operate, their their rules are not as stringent as YouTube. Uh, sorry, as Twitch. Um, but still, like you never know down the road because you know advertisers might get angry at this and that and this and that, and they have to quickly change it. So you can't really like expect them to have rules not as stringent as not as stringent as um twitch 
uh, because you know, like I said, at the end of the day, they still depend on the same revenue, same source of revenue, advertisers as Twitch. So even though YouTube has less stringent rules now, you can't predict, you can't be certain of that for the future. If that makes sense. So, anyways, uh, like I said, Kick.com will kill Twitch because of what I pre- basically what I just mentioned. Uh, mainly just the less stringent rules, not not needing. Um, not needing to have, uh, you know, stringent rules due to uh, not needing a uh, source of revenue from advertisers um, because they have their, once again, their parent ga- gambling company called Stake.com. So, yeah, um, that's all for this video. Um, just like I said, I'm just a big, just a non scripted, just off the cuff, you know, speaking my mind kind of stuff. So, I hope you understood why Kick.com will kill Twitch. In my opinion, I think it's just pretty obvious why Twitch.com will die, who will be killed off by Kick.com, just like how XTC will kill Ethereum. Uh, XTC is the real Ethereum killer. Um, Ethereum will be killed by XTC because XTC, once again, is the real Ethereum killer. Thanks for watching this video. And hope you learned something. Peace out.